Welcome back. All right. Uh, everything is clean. Mucho El Clino. And the uh, El Portos and all the oil and whatever else I was making on this thing. It's all clean. I got the, uh, as you can see, I cleaned this out pretty good. Got the Fell Pro Blue on there. And that's disgusting. What the hell did that come from? Cut off. Okay. Ready? All right, we're back. Whew. All new. Fell Pro Blue. Gaskets on here. Clean this up as much as I could. Now I'm gonna try to shove this in here and make it, and make it work. I don't know what you call me. Put new sensors on there. New gaskets. Oh, the sensors on later. What's a, well, I gotta put this one on up front here. Uh, one right here. These are all fairly no? Got one there. That goes up front here. And uh, that one's gonna lead there. What the world? Okay. Whatever. So, let's see if we can slide this puppy in here. Nice and easy. And there she goes. There she goes. Are you doing that? Does it loosen up the gaskets at all? No. Nope. Nope. They're all inside. Okay. You go like this. Peekaboo! See, she got her underwear on. Yeah, her underwear are all on. Make sure none of them fell out. Go on this side. They're all still there. Alright. We got a whole bunch of. You know, L Stuttles. Put one here. One over here. One over here. One over there. Make sure you hand tighten these, man. This aluminum heads. Don't drive them in there with an impact. Nothing like that. Just, you know, jiggle it, wiggle it. Make sure you tighten them by hand. Be cranking on these bolts. You're gonna have a rude awakening. So, It'll be real mad. If you crank on them, what happens? Uh, who? If you would crank on them, what would happen? Mess up the threading or whatever. Then you gotta re tap them. Get bigger bolts. Oh, that's upside down. Did you break them? Well, you could break a bolt in there, but they're easy to come back out though, because you got plenty of room to get a drill in here or whatever. But well, why make your job 10 times harder? Just bring one by hand. Okay. So the lunch is screwing all the way? No. Just put them in my hand and snuggle. Ain't got to put a whole lot of torque in here. Just snuggle them in there by hand. Long, tedious process, but what the hell. Gives you something to do. Get your fingers ready for the old lady or some shit. You're strong. <laughs> I know she be complaining. Oh, yeah, right. You like to play with the car so much, you don't come and play with me, Charlie. That's right. You complain about your hands so much, and you can't massage me, but you can sure freaking deal with the car. Hey, 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 hey. That's Charlie's job. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Well, it is true. You work with your hands so much, you know what I'm saying? So your hands should be ready, then. Oh, no. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see if I'll get paid for the massage. You know what I'm saying? It's really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't cook I clean. Wrench cooks. I, 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 I cook it clean, too. I cook it clean, too. Don't go there. Good. Oh, don't even go there, young lady. I got videos. Once in a blue moon. I got videos of me cleaning. Cleaning and dancing. Okay, yeah. I've never seen that. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I get paid for using these fingers on the car. The big difference. You don't get paid in the bedroom to massage somebody. Really? I don't even get a massage. I don't even get a massage. What are you talking about? Alright, so anyways. Special kind. I don't even get massages. Uh-huh. I don't remember the last time I got a massage. Like 15, 20 years ago. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. 
just massaged me the same way I massaged you. Uh, you don't complain. You don't even have to use your fingers. I worked too damn much. Liar. A little hard to massage you. Well, you gotta use these, you know what I'm saying, gentle hands on your cuffs. Gentle hands. Okay. Yeah. Gotta be gentle with these cars. Right? Man, can we get you some pink gloves? All right. Oh, what was this for? Why I got a this in here? Well, let's go. Let me get the. Uh, let me get the. Uh, the hot Pittsburgh Pro. Uh oh. Ah, look at that, huh? Woo! Look at this, the little brother. I got all three of them here now. For some work. This is uh, the quarter inch. Flex hand. From Harbor Freight. Pittsburgh Pro. Not a sponsor. You hear me, Harbor Freight? You're not a sponsor. I'm still using your tool though. Yeah, so feel free to send anything you want. <laughs> Yeah. Send me a send me a, a message or whatever. You want me to try something out? You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be an icon. I'm not picky. <laughs> I can send me a Pittsburgh little modified one or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I use anything. It don't matter to me. I've used uh, some of the cheapest tools on the market to get a job done. You know. I got some good ones, but sweetie, so you find them down like you do log bands, so you don't do all of them. No, 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 no. No. No, I mean the sequence, so that you don't do all the sequence. No, the sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that. You can see that. Just jump around a little bit. I go to the back. I come to the front. I come to the middle. I'm crisscross over here. The yeah, but well, I'm getting paid for it though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember that. Sugar mama paying the nigga. I'm always in one. Alright. You'll be alright, young lady. Mm -hmm. I don't see you complaining every time you go spend that money. So, okay, they don't go there. I don't even get to see the money. That's crazy. Okay. All this work, don't see no money. I haven't seen a check in like two years. In two years since I've seen a check. What bills? I don't have no bills. I have no insurance, so if I if I oh, croak and get hurt, I'm done. Yeah. I so I don't even have car insurance. I don't even own a car. What are you talking about? I need to get life insurance. There's a lot of days. Oh yeah, you ain't getting no like, life insurance. I like to take that Pittsburgh. The to only with it. the only way you're gonna get life insurance and shit is the church is the beneficiary. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Like everybody else, so I take it for <laughs> <own churches. laughs> Oh, you're gonna become a deacon? Well, this is the church's spirit change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of cute, though. I'll baptize all women <laughs> 18 and over. Let me stop. Stand at the corner with the basket, like everybody else. Yeah, raising money for the church. What a church at? Don't worry about it. You know, I don't get that. How come all these people can stand on the all these corners, like every single corner here in Orlando, and be begging? The, almost all of them are getting uh, welfare and food stamps. Uh, I can't. Else. I can't see a guy younger than me, mind you. I'm uh, thirty six years old. Liar. <laughs> and uh, I can't see these young dudes in the corner begging for money. Man, if I could work, you could work. And don't give me no crap. I got bad backs. I got a big hole in my back from when I was younger in the streets of Connecticut. Got shot in the back with a shotgun. So I was in a wheelchair for a minute. But I got off that wheelchair. I got tired of sitting down. Like, man, I got to get up. And I got up on my feet, and I still work and do a lot of stuff, even though my back is beyond repairable. 
So I'm not going to give a young man on the corner some change. So you go buy a 40 ounce and shit, some cigarettes, some alcohol. Man, you got me messed up, kid. I tell you what. I'm not taking care of your drug habit. When I managed one of the stores down here, it was one of the convenience stores, we had one guy that used to always sit outside. Nice guy, quiet. He wasn't like your normal. He came in and I go begging everybody and up to everybody and was bothering and harassing them. He had pretty much stuck to himself. He'd sit there and actually read big novels. And we got to talking and stuff. He said he was there all the time. And he used to be, I mean, he had a high, really high profile job. It was made, you know, was 200 grand a year. Um, he was a mechanical engineer. Got tired of all the BS and all the politics and paying all the taxes and everything else, and just one day he just pretty much up and left his life. I did. He, said I, he uh, still makes a hundred grand a year just for people giving him money. He said he don't even have to go after and ask people; they just give it to him. They give him umbrellas, give him clothes, give him food. He goes, they'll get him hotels and stuff. He goes, and oh, all the money just go. is. You remember how this went? How does it go? I don't know. I was looking at that. You serious? Oh my God, flip it over. It's you sure? The rounded part was up top because you couldn't look it sure? over. You sure? I don't know how does it go anymore. Oh. So anyways. Oh, Alright, go with your story. Oh, the crackhead on the phone. He wasn't a crackhead. Oh. He was one that wasn't doing drugs. I never ever seen him drinking beer or anything outside there. Nothing. And it was just for him, that was just his choice. He was still making all that money. So, I mean, these people, they're making good money standing out there. You figure yeah, how many cars well, go by, and if just the one new, car the, every lake gives them even, you know, a dollar, they're averaging at least 30 I'm bucks an hour. Um, the news caught that one guy. He came in a BMW to 7 Eleven. And uh, he parked his car in the back. Um, I'm putting a little bit of uh, assembly lube on my O-rings. If you're, you know, what I'm saying, uh, curious about what I'm doing over here. Uh, yeah, you changed out all the O-rings on. Yeah, I put on new O-rings on the injectors. Basically, I've redone everything here. I cleaned out the injectors, sprayed them all out. Uh, I checked them for homage, make sure that all of them are good. So. The, the homage is hitting between 12 and 13 ohms. If you don't know how to check your your uh, injectors, uh, right here where the plug goes, just uh, get you a, a one of them. Uh, I don't know what you call them. What you call them things? Uh, one of them uh, electrical testers or whatever. I don't know names for everything. I just know what they are. But. Uh, one of these, what are these? Huh? Ah, one of these. One of these polarity testers, you know, check, test your voltage for your battery. You know what I'm saying? But I put on ohms right here. Put on ohms. And then touch them one prompt to each and it'll give you matter of fact I'll, I'll show you oh yeah. right, you can hold that there we'll turn this this way a little bit and what you do is no there or well, you go here and you put one on each and you wait until it stops come on 12, 12, 9, 13. See that? And they're all 12, 12, 2. So that's how you know your injectors are good. Alright? Now, all these. A little, uh, you know what I'm saying, peace of mind so you can know. All the O rings and gas bits oh. replaced. How much was everything? How much was all this? A whole lot of money, thirty-three dollars for. Yeah, that's what the coupon. Oh my! Oh yeah, seven dollars off on a advance. Oh, that's 
AutoZone, 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 AutoZone. Well, we had to go to Advance to get the uh, the throttle body gasket, but they didn't have it. We had to go to the main hub. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, all the gaskets, uh, I roughly spent like $41. All my O-rings for my injectors, all the ones for the intake, and the one for the throttle body. Don't cost much, and don't use bubble gum like the last guy did on this car. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, we're going to put this on first before we put this rail in, because if not, I'm not going to be able to get it on. Let's get it on. And for some people, Wondering what the hell is the bubble gum you're talking about? Is that the RTD or the? Yeah, Permatex somebody used. I don't know why the hell you use Permatex on there. You're not supposed to put anything on there. Man, listen. Okay, some people don't know. You don't know. That's why YouTube's around. Well, Everybody's doing videos so that, that you learn. Today. I don't think so. This he said this uh, these heads were put on here. A little over a year ago. Okay. So. Gotta learn. Yeah, lesson learned. So if you had to do this whole job front to back, and you had the parts, what would it take? About huh? and a half, two hours? Uh, if I had all the parts with me before I started, you know, in about two hours, depending how you work, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a video, so it takes a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a... Snack break. Hey, 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 nobody asks for all that kind of impulse, you know the problem? The girls, <laughs> the problem, Charlie? Hey, uh, we're in truthful here, real life. All right. I'm making no fancy sugar-coated videos. All right, here we go. That's on there, because when I flip this fuel rail around, it's got to go, yeah, like that. And it goes under here somewhere. And it goes over here, over here, turn over here, get this wire out of here, get that over there. Cut. All right, so you line them all up, line them all up. Make sure that they're all straight right here where your prongs are sticking out. And then you just squeeze them in. Once you squeeze them in, there is some bolts that go in there. I lost the bolts. Good job. I'm always losing everything. Yes. That's my job. Now you get your bolts in here. There's four of them. <coughs> They're nice and straight. All right. Bring them in by hand. Because again, you're screwing back into aluminum. Aluminum. You don't want to take it all out again and, you know what I'm saying, put it all back because you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, finger fudgicles, that thing. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, you should have went on the other side. Right. You're going to see me. Come around me. Wilma, right here. There you go. All right, get in there by hand. Like a big blue smurf is in there playing. What you call her? A lot. Thanks today. Yes, I'm Wilma. I'm trying to Some days it. I can tolerate right it. Here. Other days, man, I just like to bury it somewhere. I hope. Nothing here. Okay, y'all heard that, right? She talked about life insurance policy. <laughs> what are you now she talk about dropping me off in the ocean with a I cinder block tied to yet. my leg. No, I haven't said that yet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there it is. No, she was about to say it. I told you about there it. Is, you overboard while we've been fishing. She's trying to kill a, a mechanic. No, not yet. All right. Now, <laughs> well, on this side right here, we got two more. Make sure that your injectors are in the hole. See, they weren't in the all the way here. But I can't see a damn thing. Move out the way. There we go. Uh, one that's in the way here, one that's in the way here, one that's in the way here. 
She's on now. Okay, got another one over here somewhere. Please, whatever you gotta do, make sure you got good hands. Go drop one of these bolts back here. Cause you're gonna be cussing up a storm. Where does it go? Hey, you never know where it might end up. You're in, I'm in Florida. This bolt falls back here. I might have to go to Rhode Island and go get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, a little 7 millimeter, I mean an 8 millimeter. You know, with some of these bolts that bit. fall in those places, uh, you definitely don't want them in. Why don't they make some of these tools with stronger magnetic um, parts they, on them? Because then they got to charge three times as much. They can keep the magnet. I can find another bolt. No, I, I don't know, give a damn. Drop, like down in the head or something. Well, you, you can't drop it in the head. You still can find it. Well, okay. Now, if you drop it inside a spark plug hole, now you got problems. I'm saying that when you're doing a trance, if you drop one of those. In a trance? In a... Oh, like that. Oh, my God. Subaru transmission. Do not drop a bolt for the bell housing. For the tow converter, don't drop it inside because you got to start from the beginning. There's no way to get that bolt out unless you pull the transmission back. So yeah, I did that. Well, I didn't drop the bolt, but I did a super run too long ago. And yeah, you drop the bolt back there. Yes, we're saying though. That's why you need those kind of tools with like super magnets on them. Well, I got I got uh extensions that got magnets. They're, they're magnet extensions. No, I know, but I'm saying like for the sockets and things that are they have like strong magnets, so they can't drop the thing. I got uh, the only sockets I got that are magnetic. Our spark plug sockets. All right, we're on. All right, what's next? I don't even know what I'm doing next. I'm doing something. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in all these injectors so that we know they're plugged in. Don't forget anything, cause oh, got a hair in my eye. Mommy, you losing your hair again? No, but anyways, here we go. We got another one over here. And it's impossible to mix up your your injector wires. If you mess up an injector wire, all I got to say is take your car to Jiffy Loop on a Friday and tell them you need some blinker fluid. Because you don't belong on the internet. But anyways, alright, all that's plugged in. Alright, now what else we got? Come on, mama, what else? Um, what is this, missing? This side. Who? You doing this side now? No. Just that side. I'm, uh, I got this little bracket right here. That's a pain in my behind. This little bracket here. It goes over here somehow. I don't remember. But it goes in here like this and like this. There's a bolt that goes on the top. Uh, you see this hole here? I'm gonna show you the hole right now on my finger. Cause my fat hands gotta get on here and get this bolt on. You got three. You got one in the front, one in the back. And the only reason I'm putting this on now. It's because eventually I gotta put a throttle body on, but because once I move this right here, this stick two, onto this holder, I'm never gonna get the one in the back. So before I do that, I move this over here to the side, I grab the other bolt and put it back here. Put it in there. Yeah, you gonna have to move over a little bit, young lady. Uh, it's impossible to get this in here. Like this. There we go. That's the problem with this bolt back here, boy. There's like no hole right here to get it. And, uh, 
there's only one way to get it, Miss uh, Playing with it a little bit. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one off. Make my life a lot easier. It's like these people at Chrysler are award winners. Walkers. I don't know, you can't make a bracket that you can stick your hands in here and take the bolt out. You know what I'm saying? There we go. No, they put all this together on the motor on the house, on the, on the ground, or on their assembly bench. That's how they put all this together. And then they throw it in the car. Or they put the car over the top. They put the, the car on top of the frame. This way is already all together. They just married the body to the frame. So, you're a Detroit girl. You're from Alabama. What are you talking about? I keep talking about Detroit stuff. Just because we went down vacation, you know what I'm saying? Don't <laughs> mean. <laughs> People from Alabama. <laughs> My bad. I'm not trying to say anything bad about Alabama. But she keeps saying she's from Detroit. I don't believe it. Keep saying you're Puerto Rican. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can tell. You can look at me. And see, I'm Puerto Rican, Just Mexican. You have a tattoo, doesn't mean. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Ah, uh, again, putting this on right now. There you go. Nice and tight. This is uh, your throttle and your cruise control right here on this bracket. Put it up here. I know. All right, there it is. This right here, throttle. Let's go fast. Cruise control, grandma. On grocery shop. But anyway, that's on there. This goes on here. It takes a little El Nutto. Right here. Man, that's a 10. Why are you going to give me this? This is a 10. I want to hear it. Come on, Pop Tart. I'm coming. I'm coming. I had a socket, but I don't know. I keep changing from sockets to wrenches and wrenches to sockets. Every time I finish something, I try to do it a different way. It's not my fault. I give people options. You got sockets, you got everything. Alright, now that we got old trusty Dusty on, uh, we got the injectors on. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna get all these injectors plugged in. Alright. Got the injectors over here. There. Got one more back here. All right. Hijo le mato. All right, here we go. Well, I can see the son of a witch. Looking like that. Ah, here we go. There we go. There we go. Dancing, dancing, dancing! I got a hose up here somewhere. Yeah, it's a really old show. Oh? <laughs> he said that was from the really old show. What are you talking about, Wilma? What you were just saying, wasn't it from like Soul Train or something? Hey, 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 Holy hey! Holy shit! Hey, watch yourself. That really ain't you there. Who? You! I didn't do nothing! That was like in the 70s. Oh, hey, go right here. What was in the 70s? That dancing, dancing. I'm not talking about that. I don't dance. All right, that goes plugged in there. I don't know if this one goes in here. Some crap like that. I don't even know how none of this goes. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just learning with y'all guys now. Don't quote me. Don't mess with me. Huh? All right. We got this on so far. Now, we got uh, 
some coils. I got four coils over here. I'm going to drop one in here. Well, I got them, uh, the way I took them out, I'm putting them back in, only because... How do you know? What you mean? How do you know that it's going back in the same spot? Because I took them out. Okay, well, how did you put a little cheat on them so you knew? Right? I put numbers on them, okay, see? there you go. I went from one to three. Four doesn't matter. That's why I messed up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even want... Hey, there. Oh, here we go. Mm. All right. Uh, remember, you got to play with these a little bit to get them where they're going. But they ain't just going to go in there mysteriously easy for you. Especially this one in the back. Oh, my God. Cause it's gotta go over the boat. There it goes. Yeah, play with it and find the sweet spot. That's what she said. <laughs> <sighs> All right, now there's a uh, over here. Go right on top. Get your nut. Put it on there. They're all ten millimeter. Ten millimeter. All right. All right. We got a ten somewhere. I'm a little trusty dusty right here. Excuse me. I got 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter woman. Alright, we need two more nuts. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, this is a holy channel. What? A holy <laughs> Oh, is... gee, let me take off my shirt when you do that one. No, this is a holy channel. There's no one such holy channel. It's nothing is... that we can add. <laughs> It's a holy channel. The kids on there. You see, YouTube got the shit suit out of them for it. Oh, yeah. They corrected that pretty quick, though. Six of these are done. <sighs> what the fudgicles? You know what? Where's that other thing? I forgot this. Why? Because I forget stuff all the time. I just gotta get this back here where it goes. Yeah, it goes here. Yeah, On the back, it's just a Little vacuum hose. The back of the intake. Look, right here. Look. You see, this is the back of the intake. It goes right there. Right there. That nipple right there. Got that it. little pee pee. Okay? So, that'll be this line right here. So, disconnect it from there. Run it through here. So it's easier if you just run it through here first. Then connect it back there, see, right there. You see where's that right there? Oh, what's in there? See that? Oh. You see? It slides in. Woo! There it is. Alright, now that goes in there. It plugs in over here. And that's it. Alright, then over here. Uh, 
coil number one. You know what I forgot? I forgot one thing. Over here on uh, coil number two. You got a, a sensor that grounds off of here. So take the nut back out. Find your sensor. These two, two ground wires. Make sure you ground all your wires. They go right here. This right here. But out. See this sensor? It's called here. Put it right here on number two. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Sign that back up. All right. Now you sign that back up. Uh, you got coil number two right here. Now you gotta find three and four. They back here somewhere. I know that for a fact. Ah, no. This is two, this is three. That's three. That's two. Alright, now, way back here should be number four. And there it is. Bada bim bada boom. Alright, one more thing on this side. I'll go ahead and address that right now. This long ass spike right here. Goes in uh goes in here. See? Right here. Yeah, behind number two. Yeah, behind number two. Get this big bolt right here. How tight do you do that? How tight do you do? Do you crank it or hand tighten it? Do you crank it down or? Oh. Do you crank it down or hand tighten it? No, you gotta crank it down. I usually hand tighten everything as far as I can take it. Alright, nice and tight right there. Get an 18 millimeter. Crank it right there. Remember, the two ground wires go on here. There's two ground wires. Oops. There's one and there's two. Don't forget those. If not, you're going to be thinking, what did I do wrong? Once you put everything back on, you put the filter thing in, I mean, uh, the breather here and everything. And you're going to be like, what the world? Why my truck won't start? Because you forgot your ground. Don't forget your ground, folks. That nut is a 19 millimeter. All right, see? Boom. That's done. All right. Oh. What else? What else, mama? Tell me something. What you want to do next? Alright, so we got uh, coils over here. I got four coils over here. Same thing, drop them. Oh, no, way over here. See, you almost started wrong, baby. You're not paying attention. Start over here. Drop them in the hole. So, get over there. Uh -huh. Number three. Mm. And number four. Alright. Get four nuts. Oh, nut, get Get four nuts from my hand. Bada bing, bada boom. So that side, passenger side, is all done. Injectors, coils, ground, 
uh, the fuel pedal and cruise control bracket is on. Oil, uh, the dipstick uh, little bracket right there is on. So pretty much that's all buttoned up over there. All we got left is uh, this here. Uh, throttle body. We got three pigtails here. One here. We have two here. And uh, as soon as I tighten these injectors, I mean these coils. Do you make those? Just snug them. You don't have to crank the crap out of them and crack the lip out of them. Just snug them in there. They ain't going nowhere. They don't want to go anywhere. Alright. So, plug these in. One, two, three, and one more back here. Four. That's that. Got a fuel line right here that you can also get it in there. Bring the bracket over the top. That's a funny ass bracket right here. There it goes. Lock that in place. And again, got to do the job twice. Put that in there. I oh, forgot. I forgot. Again, again. I tell you. Well, that's another brick, another uh, sensor that grounds off this so over here. The driver's side, you have to put it on with the number two. Well, the that's where it goes so you can keep everything. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Put on number two, number three, number four. It don't matter. We're only going to reach as far as the, the wire goes. Uh, Alright, now that that's done. Alright, we only got two wires here. Well, yeah, three. One goes on top of here. And then two more up here. We got the airline in here. This one goes to the breather. How do you know which one those are? Huh? Just the size? Yeah, they're all different. That's a four wire, three wire, two wire. Four, three, two. There is no one. All right, now we need a gasket. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even though I think I could have got away with the old one that was on there, over here, I could have got away with the old one because it didn't look too bad. But I'm already there. Four dollars and change. Why not change? Four dollars. You gonna run into a headache for four dollars? Come on, man. That's like two beers. No, that's like one beer. A draft at the club. At the club? You're looking at like probably eight bucks. For a draft? Yeah. Not a happy hour? What I club don't... has a happy hour? Who? What club has happy hour like that? Well, listen, man, I don't drink, so I want to know. <laughs> I'm just speculating. I don't drink, so. So you gotta make sure that it's pushed in all the way or what? What? Yeah. It only goes in one side. I mean, it only goes in one way. No, I know. It sticks out. Mm. It has it's like, like double-sided tape. It's thick. All right. No, not this. These, these are meant to be crushed. And they just fall up when you crush them, I guess. I'm missing the holes. You see a hose over there somewhere? No. 
not that you can don't pull out anything. It's just the red of the hose. You don't gotta crank on this either too hard. You gotta remember, it's got a little fastener in the plastic. So you don't have to beat the crap out of it. Just enough snugness so it don't leak. Alright. Now, you don't see the holes? There should be a hose around here somewhere. Okay, got one back here. It's a pretty chunky hose. Oh, right here. Ring you. Alright, there it goes. What you said? Alright, now, throttle body's all connected. We'll go over here. And as you know, this just slides and hits, snaps in there. Then you crank the fuel. That one snaps in that little button there. And you crank this all the way up like this. You slide it here, let it go. Come on, she's on. That's that. And we got this right here. This goes in here, it's uh, the, the little air box right here slides in this groove in here and you tighten it up 8 millimeter there and that I'm going to need uh, 8 millimeter and I'm going to need a 10 millimeter and I'm going to go electric. Ooh, oh, I'm electric. But anyways. We got a whole bunch of stuff to plug in over here. Uh, I guess we'll go first with the AC compressor. And uh, something about the AC compressor, you gotta. There's a little tab right here. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to get that to slide in there real smooth. Not a trick or anything. You pick this up. And you hit it that way. It'll make a it slider here easier. Alright. One thing. There it goes. You move that tab in a little bit. And uh, it'll be easier to go in, but I'm going to let it sit right there a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on real quick. If I can find it. There we go. Put this in here before I forget. And the alternator goes in and I can't see the hole too good. Boom. That's where I got the big brother right here. Because this is the temperature sensor. Just snug. Yes, snug enough. Bada boom. All right, get big, big, big brother out of here. Right there. Tools are secure. All right, now we'll go back over here. I'm going to line this up. You want to get the the long bolt in first. Get these wires out the way. That's another thing. Gotta have. There we go. Gotta have like 15 hands to do this job. There we go. Woo. Let me see, sorry. Oh, they're over
Huh? What? Who? Get to the end of the job and stuff wants to fall in holes. Well, you got to get one piece of stuff at least on every job. Yeah. That is true. Alright, AC compressor going on. With the old flex head. Harbor Freight, not a sponsor. Hopefully they hear me. Send me a, at least a screwdriver or something. Come on, Harbor Freight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to one of the guys, uh, the Harbor Freight Sensor Tools, to see what I could do. See if they could send me a screwdriver or something. I just make a joke of everything. I don't like taking shit from nobody. Do they sell gags there? Huh? Do they sell gags there? Who? Gags. They can gag you. Huh? <laughs> I said they could send you a gag and gag you. Yeah, okay. They could send me a mask, I'll go rob them out the back door. No, let me stop. <laughs> send me an outfit, so I go in the back. Like, yeah, I'm picking up a couple of things for the other store. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, Icon Toolbox. Okay. There's something funny about this right here. That's why. Now I see what's going on. I wonder why this bolt's so damn long. This bolt, longest mother. Because I got the wrong one. Ah, that's a little more feasible. There we go. AC compressor. It's got three bolts. One so over there. The real long one goes on the right side. Yeah. The real, real short one goes on the, on the left side. Oh, there's two on the passenger side. So the shorter right. one goes on the top? The shorter one goes on the bottom. And there's a real skinny one that goes on the top. It goes forward to 13. Here. Behind is water. Again, the alternator has the same three bolts. They all line up the same. All right. That's how that will be three bolts right here. Let me over here. See where I can put them without them falling all the way down there because I just lost what? Another 12? No, 10. Oh, I lost the 8. Down there somewhere. Inside the bumper. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Before I want to tighten this up, this I don't understand why this nut got a crack in it. Oh, is that the washer? That's the washer on it. I gotta tighten this up because this one was down there in the hole. Look what I found. What is doing down there? I have no idea. That's the first thing you gotta throw. I'm going to tighten this one back where it goes over here. See? Uh, yeah, now the other one goes on top. Remember what you did with it? I did with it. Huh? I had a move from this part. But I still can blame you for anything though. No. That's the beauty of my job. Alright. Here. And this one goes here. This one goes here. Oh, 
goes here. You gotta pick up the pace. Huh? So you gotta pick up the pace. This pick up what pace? This girl's gotta go pee. <laughs> oh man. Listen, Bubba Lou. You can pee tomorrow. At your age, you should be able to pee every other day. Let's get this beast in here. Get my finger back, you son of a witch. There it is. So, the long one goes through here, through here, through here. Leverage over here. Another one over here. This one goes in here. So which one goes in where on this side? Alright. Which bolt goes where on this side? Where? Which bolts? Where? The sizes on the alternator. The medium one. And this little skinny one right here. The little skinny one goes up here. There, they're all in. All we gotta do is uh, give them the beans. Alright, now, where is it? This fits in. Fits in for here. Fits in for there. Got it completely out of tighten all the way to the uh, AC compressor one, the long one. So I'll put the one on the other side first. Make sure everything lines up. Watch the camera, bro. Camera lady, watch yourself. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Another one over here. <coughs> I don't know people, I might make this a two part video. Maybe not. The wife will try to edit some some of the clownness that goes on around here. Uh, we don't have fun while working, why work? Got a little fun folks. Uh, everything in life ain't work. Gotta enjoy yourself. Gotta make the best of life. You think I'm joking about some of this? What you say? You think I'm joking about some of the stuff I call you? I'm being serious. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking, talking about, about the names. <laughs> what are you talking about, Shaquita? <laughs> This is the last one on here for this alternator, the small one. All right, you're gonna have to crank the crap out of it. We already got two down here. We're gonna get the small little 12 right here. We're gonna come back over here 
Gotta plug this in the back. Don't forget to plug this in the back, man. You're not gonna get your battery to charge. Uh, go back there. Get this El Nutto over here. Not as nutty as a wife. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what she say? <laughs> All right, that's tight. Put the cover back on. Right, if you don't have that cover, put some tape, sign a condom, whatever. You don't want that to touch any kind of metal. All right, what's next? I guess we gotta put the belt on, right? Where the belt go? What you do to the belt, woman? All right, I got a belt here. It's supposed to go through here, and then through there, and then over there, and back over here. All right, baby, I'm gonna have to go down top, down, down, downstairs, and uh, I gotta pass you that up here. All right. Hold on, can I reach it? No, oh, I can't reach it. All right, gotta come over there. Come on, move your tushy. I gotta go under there. Excuse me. I'll be my legs. <laughs> you don't move. You don't move. Uh, it's it's going to drop right on your head. Back. You can't get this belt. Hey, I found it. I told you. Woohoo! I found it. <laughs> All right, you ready? Hold on. i got to climb over the big belly here. All right. all right, got it. Okay, pull it up. It's up. No, it's not all the way up because... Because it's going it's around. It's got to go over that way. Pull, huh? Pull it up. Up, up, up. There you go. Good girl. Don't all be right. a smart ass. All right, dear. It don't fit? Huh? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. How am I supposed to get up from under here? If you don't get... Ah! Why are you down there? What you call Excuse me. It don't fit? Of course not. Alright. Nobody look at what I'm gonna do. This is uh this is man shit coming up right here. Top secret Top secret, top secret. <laughs> Alright, you ready? No no. I'm gonna lift, you put it over there. I know what my But show the is. people this way. What are you putting there? An alternator. No, you're not because all you're doing is facing the holes. Look at the alternator, woman. I swear to you. I'm the crazy. alternator way over here like that. You see the alternator? Alright, put it on. Ready, right, ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, Alright. Got it? it ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. Alright, see that people? That's called mucho power. Yeah, I do it by hand. You're supposed to use a wrench. God, Jesus, this light's always in my eyes. You're supposed to use a wrench, but I don't know. It's just fun to. I'm trying to get this. That's all the way off of there. All right. Well, yeah, I just usually pull on the tensioner by hand and uh, and get the belt on there. It's pretty retarded, but I don't know. Hey, I'm works. not like everybody else. So. Yeah, but it works for me. It works for me. Alright, what's next? Alright, we got mostly everything going out of here. Um, yeah, I need the airbox, but I gotta look over a couple, a couple of things. What are you doing, crazy woman? Alright, what else? We got the airbox here. We should have two bolts over here. For the air box. Go on the sides here. We got that hose on over there. We got this one up over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna clear out some of this. Some of my tools here. Three tool carts, and I still got tools everywhere. Another dowel. Where's my uh eight? This one goes over here on this side. Right here. Okay. 
Crank it in by hand as much as you can. And then just give it a little snug. I think it's going in there anyways. But What's that for? I don't, I don't know, but they have it on there. Ask Chrysler. Send them a message. What's it Say, for? Chrysler. So they can charge you 25 bucks if you want to replace it. Yeah, that's a $30 bucks right there. Chrysler, why is this on here? Butt liquors. All right, now, airbox. I don't know why the hell it got two airboxes, but whatever. Give it to Chrysler. They got a some kind of a geographical shit about it. Makes the car go faster or some shit. Alright. You hit me with that light one more time, young lady. Well, what do you think you're with the magnet part? We're gonna have a problem. Why is the light in my eyes? That's what I like to know. I hate this. I hate lights, you know what I'm saying? Because every time, instead of shining where they gotta shine, I'll shine in your eyes. Because all the lights in the game are made up so that you can make this and stuff, but they don't make the flutters so they stay out of your eyes. Oh, two of my tools. Ah, that's the one that we found at the junkyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. We find a lot of tools at the junkyard. People leave tools behind. Just yeah, like me. Just like you. Just like me. Harbor Freight gonna send me some vice grips and some screwdrivers. <laughs> you got me, Harbor Freight? Hey, maybe I can get some air plugs. Somebody has to listen to you. <laughs> hey, listen, as long as they're free. Start with electric and finish my hand tools. I don't understand that one. But whatever. Hand yeah, I want to make sure nothing's over tightened. Right. Alrighty. Alright, we got, uh, got this out of here. I'm going to charge this one. 
That's another thing right here, these lights right here. They're pretty cool. They're magnetic. I bought them at Harbor Freight. Not a sponsor. Not yet. But yeah, Harbor Freight, as you see, all my tools come from your store, man. You gotta send me something, a screwdriver, some vice grips. Help me out. Look at all these Harbor Freight tools. Well, hold on. I don't have a Harbor Freight cup. I, 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 I. Sockets, Harbor Freight, I don't have none. Now, if you want to send me the icon so I can try them out, I will try them out. You never know, they might work better than, uh, what are these? What kind of sockets I got? I'll figure out what kind of sockets But anyway. Craftsman, I'm going to blame Stanley, because Stanley Tools bought out or took over Craftsman. So, and I know Stanley took over because uh, I'm from Connecticut, and Stanley made Craftsman right there in Britain, Connecticut. And it was only like six blocks away from where I used to live at, so, yeah, I know this for myself, because I got a lot of cups from Stanley for free from some of my homies. So I know what I'm talking about. But regardless, um, we gotta get uh, this tightened down. Once we get this tightened down, right in, uh, fire in a hole. Uh, I'm looking, I missed some things here. Small start. Very high Put all my tools away. Put all that over here. Alright, if you uh, come over here and uh, we'll uh, we'll go ahead. you see all these wrenches right here? I got some that are, well, some are craftsmen, some are craftsmen, but all of these right here are Pittsburgh, these are Pittsburgh also, I got some uh, gear wrench, these are, alright, alright, so as you can see, you know what I'm saying? I don't have no icon socket, so I'm afraid to go ahead and send those over. We'll test them out. Oh no. Oh yeah. To that guy, uh matter of fact. Oh, can I can you see me? You know I'm saying? There's a gentleman out there that was talking about I don't have no garage, man. I joke around a lot, you know what I'm saying? This is storage green. I I don't own no garage. I don't work for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just your everyday your everyday Joe that works on cars. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal drugs. I don't do drugs or nothing. But I, you know what I'm saying, work on cars. There was somebody on YouTube that said he gonna do the Milwaukee challenge. Who the fuck? You don't know what Milwaukee is until you look at my drawers. But go ahead. You want to do the Milwaukee Challenge? There it is, partner. Every single one of Milwaukee. Give me that other one over there. You want a Milwaukee Challenge? There it is, partner. Four to three eighths. See the driver, whatever. Big boy impact. Yeah. And I don't work for nobody. I do all my own work. But yeah, there goes your Milwaukee Challenge for you, partner. You see me? Which way are you pointing? So, there it is. I'm going to post that. Make a picture of it. Send it to you, partner. Talk about you're the only one that can afford me to walk because you work for a big company. That's crazy. But anyways, 
Everything done. My tools are put away. I gotta put my tools away, man. I'm, 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 very, I'm very funny when it comes to my tools. So, everything has a place. Alright, young lady. Fire in the hole. Oh, no. You know what I forgot? What about that? That 13. Over here. All right, go ahead, fire it up, young lady. Nice and smooth right now. Big full seven out of 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Hopefully, the injector removal, because they put everything back on. Hopefully, it was helpful to somebody. You know what I'm saying? And if you got this problem where it's like an intermittent problem where just your coils stop working, I'll put in the description uh, the guys. His uh, his channel, he uh, a professional in Jeeps. It's just on the forum. Yeah. Oh yeah, just come on the website to the forum. That's all. We'll put in the description. Put your name. Put his name on there. He probably got a YouTube channel. If you're on a forum, you're on the channel somewhere somehow. Cause everybody's on the internet. But he's a hardcore Jeep guy. That's how I got the information. If your coil shut off, the truck just stops. And then you let it cool down and you hit the key and it starts back up. Because when I diagnosed this truck, the only thing that wasn't firing or getting a signal was the coil. I mean, uh, the injectors. I got spark. I got fuel coming from the pump because I, I had the regulator on it. Checking, I had a pressure gauge on it. Checking that. I got plenty of pressure. 50 PSI. I got spark. Brand new battery. Alternator, great. Starter, great. I got everything but the injectors working. So, once it cools down, boom. I put a Noid on the injector wire, and it's working. Truck starts up. You're driving around for a while. It could be a half hour to an hour. It'll shut off again. All by itself. Go check again. Put a Noid light on it. Automatically. No power to the injector. Check the computer. I had the computer refurbished. Both of them. The ECU and the PCM. Both of them done. So we know it's not that. We had a new He had a skin put on and a new key. Make sure it wasn't the security. Because the light was flashing once in a while. Got that done. Here it goes. Bomb. It did it again. So checking. Doing some research. The wife found this guy. And he says, smell the dipstick. 
If it smells like gas and the oil, that means you got to blow by or something. Take the intake off, check for cracks, check, change the gaskets, put it back on. It might work. The word is might, because you never know it could be anything else. So I did that. He had another intake already in his house. He gave me the intake. I put on the gasket. It fires up beautifully. It's not shaking. You know what I'm saying? Rough eye or nothing. That's just cool. So we're going to call it a fix. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that, hit that bell for other videos that come out. You'll be notified quickly. Any comments, you know what I'm saying? Anybody knows me that goes to my video, that send me, you know what I'm saying, messages or whatever, ask questions. You know I'm always there. I answer your questions ASAP. I ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing to do at night. I just go through all my messages. So. If you need to explain something in Spanish, you can do that too. Yeah. Para esa gente que habla en español, que necesitan alguna ayuda, tú me entiendes, con el idioma mío, yo lo cambio para español, hablamos. I'm going to give a message. I read and write Spanish, so no problem. I'm going to give a message. So, as I just said, you know what I'm saying? So, my life community, you know what I'm saying? They can go ahead and send me a message. English, Spanish, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. I read it, I write it, you know what I'm saying? Just like English. You know what I'm saying? Just second language. You know what I'm saying? English, second language. First language, Espanol. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can understand me in both languages. They're pretty clear. You know what I'm saying? Pretty George Washington. So, with that said, BAM! Thank you for watching. Like I said, subscribe. Send me messages. Hit that bell. Everything and everything. And I have a couple more cars coming tomorrow. I'll put those videos out in a couple days. Thank you and enjoy. Peace! Awesome. Gracias.